The V20i from Soundcore just came out, but there's also the older V30i. They're both $50, so which one is better? Namaste, we're DHRME. Dude, headphones ruin my ears. Well, these open earbuds should technically not ruin your ears, but instead keep you safe since they don't block your ears from your environment. Let's start off with the design and build quality. So we've got the older V30i here and the newer V20i. And before we get into the buds themselves, the first thing that struck me is the case. So the case itself on the V20i, the newer one, is smaller and it's also thinner. It's flatter overall. There's also the fact that they've dropped the pairing button that was on the back of the V30i and they've gotten rid of it on the V20i and the way you put it into pairing mode is by holding down both the touch controls on both buds while you're wearing them. And maybe this is a bit of a nitpick, but what I've also noticed is that it's easier to open the case on the V20i just because there's a, a, you know, an indent over here to get your nails or your finger in, whereas that was very hard to do, especially if you had dry hands uh, on the V30i because there's no such indent and it was a lot harder to get, get in there. And I've slipped and fumbled these buds plenty of times. Another difference on the case is that there's an LED light on the older model that shows you battery life and pairing status, but there's nothing, absolutely nothing on the V20i. There is no LED to be found anywhere on this case, uh, just on the buds, but we'll get to that in a little bit. All right, and then talking about the design of the buds. They're both hook style buds. The only difference is that the older V30i is static, meaning it just has a flexible ear hook and that's it. Whereas the V20i has a click system in one axis, so it can click four times to adjust uh, the bud and the fit around your ear as well. And because of that click system, it is also a little trickier to put it back in the case because you have to kind of reset the bud back to its original position and then drop it in the case, otherwise it will not fit. Whereas on the older one, it's just a matter of taking the bud, dropping it in the case, and boom, you're done. Another difference is that the older model only came in one color, black, whereas the newer V20i does come in black and white. So you have a bit more choice there. And we've got to say the black that we have here is very black. We would say it has kind of a Knight Rider look and also a smooth pebble look, which we Kind of dig, it looks very nice and a lot more modern than the older V30i, which yeah, doesn't look bad, but it is definitely more boring looking than this newer one. All right, so in the app, you can hop into controls. We'll talk about the rest of the app in a bit, but you can go into the controls and what you'll see is that they all have, or they both have single tap, double tap, and a long press, but the newer V20i does have a triple press as well. So you get a little more controls on the newer model. So the way we've set it, and you can configure all of these, is single press for volume down, and on the right bud for volume up. And then you've got double tap, which we like to keep on play pause on both the buds. And then tap and hold, and triple tap is a little bit different here. So on this model, we have track control on the older one, since we don't have tap, uh, uh, triple tap. So on the triple trap here, we've used it for track control on the V20i, and long press is on the left bud voice assistant, so you get that too. And then the right one is colorful lights on and off. And you might be wondering, what the hell are colorful lights? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you that right now. So if we go back to the V20i, you have this colorful lights option, and it's breathing right now because that's the setting it's on. You can also just have it stay on. You can also have it flash if you want and you can have it follow the music and change colors. And speaking of colors, you can adjust those as well. Go into settings and over here, I can adjust the brightness of the LED. Keep it less bright, more bright, whatever. You can have them turn off after a certain amount of time and you can change the color. There you go and you have a couple of preset colors, and again, the same options that you saw on the previous screen. Now, just like touch controls are touch controls, they can be hit or miss because there is a specific part of the earbud that you have to hit, otherwise you will have miss hits. And so the touch sensor itself is quite responsive if you hit it in the right place, 
but you should be careful not to hit it too quick or not too slow, it may not register it. So that's something we've faced. Then in terms of battery life, this is a big difference. So the older V30i actually comes with 12 hours advertised and the newer V20i has a smaller capacity at eight hours. There's no wireless charging on either of these buds, so you will have to charge them using Type-C, which, which is found at the back of the charging case. And there's also a big difference in terms of the IP rating. So the newer V20i is rated at IP55, whereas the older one is only IPX5. So if, you know, depending on your workout or let's say outdoor needs, you may wanna go for one or the other. Now, the IPX5 is no slouch by any means because look, you know, if you're in a bit of rain or you're sweating, these are gonna be fine, right? So just not having that dust rating doesn't mean they're bad. Then what about the fit and comfort? Because if you are gonna work out with these, you want them to fit in place and stay in place. So the stability is important. Both of these do that. They stay securely on your ear. There's no jumping or moving or bouncing around. And although the V20i has that click system to lock it in place, the V30i is not bad and they both are very secure in my opinion. But in terms of comfort, there is a bit of difference here. Now you would say that the V30i, because it's newer and has the adjustable hook system, would be more comfortable. But in my opinion, that wasn't the case. The older V30i actually was better. It had a more flexible hook and that was good enough. It didn't really, you know, I couldn't really feel it on my ear as much and it wasn't, you know, pinching. Whereas the, the newer V20i did, especially around the uh, anti-helical crust over here. Now for short duration workouts, this was not an issue whatsoever. But if you're like me and you like wearing open earbuds, you know, during the day at home, doing work calls, etc., then I wouldn't be picking these very often. They're not painful by any means, you just feel them a little bit. And yeah, I'm a little bit spoiled and I have a lot of other options. That's probably why. But otherwise, again, this will really depend on your ear. This was just my experience. But hey, don't only listen to my experience, also take a look at my popsicles, icicles, and tests. All right, guys, out here in the evening wearing the Soundcore V30i with a few cars in the background, but just to get, give you guys an idea on how the microphones sound. So it's uh, not really windy or anything. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. So the Pokemon controls on the V30i is that you can answer and hang up. That's it. No volume, no mute. There is volume for audio, not for phone calls though. And now we're on the, you could tell now, <laughs> with the blinking lights, we're on the V20i with a few cars in the background. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Now, in terms of Pokemon controls on the V20i, you can answer hang up, obviously, like most. And you also get volume control. So on these, you can actually change volume even though you're on a call. So they're both for audio as well as for calls. But like the V30i, there is no mute on device. What did you guys think? Would you pick one or the other? We didn't quite see much of a difference between the two, but they did reasonably well. All right, what are some of the extra features you get on both these buds? Let's start with the app, because as you saw, both of them come with the Soundcore app, but the options in the app are a little bit different. Let's take a look. Okay, so on both the V30i and the V20i, you do get sound effects, which is none other than some preset EQs and a custom EQ as well. And then you can adjust it. There's a eight band EQ, but we'll talk about that later as well in the sound quality department. On the V20i, you do get a gaming mode. So if you're into gaming or you need low latency for some reason, then you get that over here. Uh, there's controls like we saw on both and there's colorful lights <laughs> on the V20i. Now if we go into the settings cog up on top, you see that there's an auto power off on both. There's a prompt tone that you can turn on and off and there's the ability to turn, or not turn, sorry, to update the firmware. And that's where it kind of ends for the older V30i. So it's definitely more limited in the features in the app. 
whereas the V20i also gives you volume balance if you want to balance out the left and right earbud. Uh, you also get dual connections, so you can stay connected to two devices at the same time. And there's a device list on the V20i. And what we've noticed is that you can play on one phone without pausing on the other, which you don't see all the time. And this worked across iPhone and Android. It does take two to three seconds for the audio to play, but hey, it works. And neither of these buds can do pool connect. And neither of them support a wear sensor, meaning taking the bud off your ear will not pause the audio automatically, nor will it resume the audio when you put it back on. That's a shame. But Rowan, is the sound quality a shame? Take it away. The Soundcore V30i is surprisingly balanced and not bass forward as you'd expect from popular audio products. And interestingly, the treble also didn't sound particularly thin to me. Uh, everything does sound a bit flat though if you're used to a V-shaped sound signature. But overall in a quiet setting, I'd be happy to use the V30i for casual listening, no problems at all. And I have a feeling why they've done this. I think the drivers are not great at reproducing bass. So overall, bass is the one thing it lacks. So I think to compensate, they've given you a nice balanced frequency response. But even if you use the custom EQ on it, I mean the bass booster EQ didn't do much for me. It just made the sound a bit bloated. But if you go into the custom EQ and pull up the leftmost band, which is the 100 Hertz band, basically nothing happens showing that the drivers are not capable of reproducing very low bass notes. Now the V20i, for me, it is kind of similar to the V30i, but worse. And let me correct that. It does have a little bit more bass than the V30i, but it's not better bass. It's just like kind of this slight, and a lower end sound. It's not like well-defined, good quality bass. So you should not think, oh, the V20i has better bass. That's why I'll buy that. No, definitely not. The V30i has the clearer sound and I definitely prefer that. Both of these come with a custom EQ. But as I said, if the drivers aren't good enough, the software is not gonna help you. So on sound, on balance, it's the V30i for me. All right, in conclusion, the older V30i comparatively makes more sense because of the comfort, the longer battery life, 12 hours, the better sound, and overall a more understated to the point design. But the V20i also makes sense, but that's if you're quite particular about design. It's got that pebble look with that LED that you can configure. Uh, there's also multi-point, and there are way more options in the app. So, what is most important to you? Which one would you pick? Let us know in the comments down below. But overall guys, you are not going wrong for 50 bucks. It's a good price point. But if you've got a bit more to splurge, then we'd suggest taking a look at this video's sponsor, Shox. They make some fantastic open ear style, hook style buds, like the Open Fit and the Open Fit Air. And we love this for multiple reasons, the strong IP rating, the comfort, and the overall portability of the case. If you wanna know what the difference is between both these buds, we'll link a video up here and in the description down below, where you'll also find links to all the products that we talked about in this video. And a big thanks goes out to our patrons and YouTube members. You guys are amazing. Thanks a lot for your support. And a special thanks goes out to Gamma Panda and Paula for your extra, extra support. You've been getting some of that Soundcore V and we've been DHRME. Do we?